Hello everyone. How is everyone doing today? I hope everybody's doing fine. Yeah, I'm fine like usual. And now uh, 14 December today. Wednesday. Maximum temperature outside 16 degree and cloudy. And raining as well this morning. So guys, uh, today I just want to show you after the frost that we had last time. And this is the baby of uh, Graptopetalum Superbum. I bought them inside the house. Um, it seems like it has recovered nicely. And uh, yes, there is, uh, I can see the marks around the leaves. That's the, it's it's affected by the frost, yes. And, uh, but it's alive and uh, I think it's going to be fine. I will keep it inside for the until the end of the winter. Maybe I will put them outside sometime uh, if we don't have frost. Uh, and uh, same with this one, it's inside, uh, it's been a while. And the Karasula, I don't want to jeopardize this. And that's why I bought them inside. And the Hawachia, this one was affected inside the greenhouse but now it has recovered fully recovered look at that i can see a yellow tip a lot of yellow tip i think it's because of the frost but at least it's alive and it seems okay it's good and this one was not affected and same with this one was not affected at all this one was affected a little around the leaves at the edge of the leaves and now it looks fine and this one i didn't put it inside because i'm sure it's going to die and uh, i was right to do so because uh, the babies of this one the leaves cutting they all turn mushy didn't recover okay now it's time to go to outside to show the other plant so this is the kawankoi that i showed last time and it still still looks uh, the same i think it's uh, it's washed it's uh, and it smells bad here it smells like the mushy the mushy leaves but the babies down there is alive and uh, this one was a uh, translucent last time and it recovered nicely without any uh, marks oh so, yes there is a little marks here this is frost bits and this one was fine and this one was translucent last time and now it looks okay again like uh, nothing ever happened same with that one and uh, this one guys looks look it this one is it's mushy this one i think it just a matter of times and uh, the leaves will uh, will die i don't know i hope it's going to survive at least i don't want it totally die die to lose all of the leaves it's okay but uh, at least i hope that they're going to bounce back next uh spring and uh same with uh, this side it doesn't really look good yes 13 hours of uh, frost the duration of the frost 13 hours and i think it's just too much that's the longest duration of a frost i ever seen uh, since i live here normally we got uh, frost only for like four hours like that but this year the winter seems uh, so bad that is okay this one was affected last time but uh, now it's bounced back again oh. there is dry leaves i think i will pull it i don't like to see that okay voila um this one was not affected the agavoy this type is really strong guys this one was frozen last time and now it looks okay and same with that one look fully recover fred ives 
grab the very afraid eyes and yonium kiwi guys look this one doesn't look uh, really good actually but it's not mushy it's not mushy but it doesn't look really good so i don't know what to think oh this one is dead look i will let it like that you will see on friday this friday it's uh wednesday today this the coming friday we're going to have a frost again maximum minimum minus four degree the duration uh, 13 hours at least <clears throat> so and at the beginning of the winter i was so concerned about the kalankois in my garden but actually they are not affected at all the tomentosa and the what the name Triciflora doesn't affect her at all here. They are just okay. This one. And last time, what else has frozen? Ah, this one. This one was totally frozen, guys. My purple pearl echeveria. And now, they come back alive again. Oh my god, they are amazing. Sometimes uh, they amaze me because uh, you know if human got frozen and defrost, uh, sure we can come back alive. But this plant is just uh, this one as well. The uh, the pulver non bug, they're doing just fine. See not affected at all the lipstick and agavirus this one and this one actually strong i was worried about this uh, the tiger jaw is strong not affected and this one was affected last time and has recovered nicely as well i hope they're going to be just okay for the friday frost and uh, this one, oh my god, Some, but something eat my uh, my elegance, look at that. But this one I'm not worried, I know that they are really strong, this uh, Echeveria elegance. I want to have a lot of that. <clears throat> and this one was not frozen last time. But the one at the greenhouse, the one like this, the Sedum Madrofii, I believe. It's frozen, got affected by the frost a little, but uh, it's okay. But here it's not affected. Oh my god, you know, guys, uh, uh, one of the cat of the neighbor come here and uh, dig up my succulent bed. I'm so angry. Look, all of that. The cat is. Uh, it's annoying me okay let's go um, this side well, last time this one was not affected then uh, i will not open that and actually <laughs> the yonium here looking looking uh i think it's because of uh it's dusty because i didn't water it and uh, i will not water it because i don't want it uh yes i want them to dry this one looks okay look at the lettuce yeah so beautiful and look at the kalankoi the same one with the one over there the one over there is dead and this one is doing okay yeah this place is good oh my god another lettuce yeah looking beautiful the yonim nobile here the cutting that I took last time and the jet plant looking good. Grab the petalum prago NC, no problem. And guys, this one was in the greenhouse last time, and I bring them home. And um same with this one. But for the next Friday I will bring it in. I don't want to gamble with the weather. 
I can't afford to lose them. I don't have thousands of succulents. So, it's time to go outside. Yeah, I didn't lose any succulent for now. Just, uh, yes, I have lost uh, only one, uh, one or two uh, leaves propagation behind. Then, uh, let's go there. Tada! This is the unprotected area. No problem, the agave. They look okay. Same with this opuntia cactus, uh, looks good. Same with this uh, aloe maculata, looks fine, no problem. And uh, oh my god, it's um, it's mushy in the middle. This one, I don't know, maybe I should cover it, or maybe it's too late. Yeah, this one doing just fine. So cute that one. I love the color. It's the same with this one, but the color is not the same uh, because this one I w was planted in a really sandy soil. Grab the petalum, no problem. Simple vibe, no problem. Ugly. Let's go in the greenhouse. See the palmary here. Looks fine, except for this one. It's mushy. Mushy, mushy. I think I should put them inside here as well. I'm inside in the greenhouse right now, and the temperature inside is uh, almost 20 degrees Celsius. Look at that. So, last time this one was not affected. Um, this one was affected a little bit and it looks okay now. Maybe not totally okay, but uh, it's red. This one seems not that good, but uh, I think it's going to be fine. Cross my finger. And this is the baby. The baby Karasula um, Silva Dollar. And the baby's uh, look. It's turned mushy. Look at that. I don't think it's going to survive. I don't know. Maybe the sleeve is still okay. I don't know. Don't know. This one also still uh, translucent. The baby Sediveria. Sediveria Letizia. And this one was baby Suyon. Didn't affect it last time. But I think I will bring it in. Yes, I will bring it in. I want the baby Suyon because it's crested. Okay, let's move here. And look, they are just fine. Still, there is a little max, but it's okay. Doing okay, okay. Except for this Yanium Kiwi. The leaves got to burn. It's uh, there is black uh, freckles. Uh, everything looks okay, babe. I, guys, everything looks okay. This one was frozen last time as well. It has recover. The baby Francisco Baldi was frozen as well. Recover as well. Was frozen, not frozen anymore. Was frozen. Was frozen, now not frozen anymore. The Chiviria PVN and down here. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, the this one was affected a little bit, but now it looks okay. The grabbed petal I'm testing and was affected last time a little bit, but looks fine now. Oh my god, I saw something that I don't like. The baby grabbed a very Fred Ives looks good. Last time was badly affected totally frozen and now it's good and look at this guys grab the petal and doze totally frozen last time and now looks it's like uh, nothing ever happened recover nicely I'm so proud of you 
this one is okay like usual they don't affect it at all this one was not affected at all as well I hope it will continue like that and uh, this one was not affected this one was affected totally frozen and now it uh, looks okay up here but down there the leaves is still translucent it's mean it's uh, it's dead I think it's been for a few days since the frost and I think it's dead it's going to turn mushy and seems the little baby here it's still translucent and uh, yeah it, it will turn mushy in, uh, in a matter of time and Brigetta was not affected last time and looks okay but guys look at this the baby uh, the not the baby steam cutting of uh, Ichiviria devotion I don't think this one is, looks okay look I think it's going to dead this one I don't know should I bring it in and try to save it because I'm sure this Friday we're going to have a uh, 13 hours of frost duration if I leave it, it's going to die and right now I still have hope I think yes this one I will bring it in and this one I will leave it here they they are affected as well guys Chiviria devotion um so guys i think uh, i think that's uh it the that's the video for today and uh, thank you for watching